At the start, barely anything was planned. I'm currently on the roof with an egg, waiting for Dad to get home from the gym. Angry Dad. And I just pegged it and it went straight in the back of his head. What? Get out of here! Get out! There's a few that I've been involved with, but the earliest one was probably the schoolies one. Why? They'll play for my Why not? Just here. let them off. Sharon! She's fucking 16! And then it just went like viral and everyone was like, you know, like keep posting them. So we just like, they just kept posting them and then it kind of just went crazy almost. It was weird. I remember hitting 2,000 likes on the page and it was like, holy shit. What 2,000 sick people in this world want to watch us fucking put talcum powder on a donut for dad and watch him eat it? When Dylan and Mitch prank him, he just goes off. All in all, he actually is what I would say a very good sport about it because he's fucking copped it. <laughs> I would have been done by now. It's about knowing how to push his buttons. Just watching him go off for fun is what they've always enjoyed. Well, Dad did it to his dad and my mum's dad, so I guess it was almost karma anyways. Now check. You're a fucking Mitchell dickhead! Seriously! Well, he was always sporty. Played football from juniors up. And um, Paul Cronage cut him along and picked him to go to Collingwood. And he was good, good, good at football. Beautiful, beautiful mark. Half forward, chance there. Oh, great mark to Orville at half forward. And of course, he suffered his. Injury. And I tried five different surgeons and it was just beyond repair. Accepting the fact that my dream had been taken away from me without delivering on my own expectations and what I set out to achieve. And, I, and I, it was about then trying to accept it and I couldn't accept it. For, for a period of probably 15 years, my life was hell dealing with all that. You know, I got to that point where it was about questioning whether I wanted to be here too. And you know, again, that's something I've never shared with anyone, but um, there were some serious moments on at least two or three occasions where one ex probably a minute longer and you wouldn't be doing this interview with me. Look, it actually it was, it was heartbreaking. You know, I, I could still cry about it now. Like, and then, um, sorry. And then I had to watch Dylan go through it as well, so, yeah. I, I mean, I had those thoughts that you should never have. Like, I wanted to, yeah, it's hard to talk about, to be honest. 